What's up YouTube? This is the Prophet YouTube here and we're going to talk about compounded interest and effective rate of interest and this equation which is the base of every single equation under the financial math criteria. So from this equation all of them, all of, all of the equations come from because it takes, it takes into account the value of money over time. So for FV as you can see here on the screen we understand uh, future value. This is present value times 1 plus the interest rate which is going to be effective interest rate and to the end power, end power are the periods with, in which uh, our investment it's going to be uh, in this financial institution or in whatever, whatever it is that uh, we invest in. Let's solve for I and let's solve for N. First we're going to solve for I. So this is useful when you need to find the interest, the effective rate of interest given future value, present value and the time and the periods of time. So, okay, let's clean this up a little. So we start from this equation and then we take this uh, present value which is multiplying this side of the equation to divide. So future value over present value are equals to 1 plus i to the n power and since we have to um, get rid of n so we have the n root of both sides of the sides of the equation and for this we cancel out these two n's and this is what we have to this point present value there you go okay equals to 1 plus i, i which is the effective uh, rate of interest. This which is uh, adding it's gonna be it was, it's gonna have a negative sign on the other side of the equation so what we have here is to the end uh, or square, no square not, the root, the end, the end root of future value over present value minus 1 equals to i so this is our first equation. Let's place it there. Now we're going to solve for n. This is going to be very easy, but there is a little trick that we need to use here. So, firstly, okay, we start off with uh, the original equation, and we place this to divide to the other side. So we set this to divide. We get future value over present value equals to 1 plus i to the n. But since we need, we can't get rid of n because this is what we're looking for. We need n to be. Um, we need to solve. <laughs> we need to solve for n. We need to use this, the Neperian logarithm. I think you you call this. You you call this like this. Or if not, you can use the logarithm, the log, normal log of the calculator. It doesn't really matter. But I used to. Uh, I like to use this one. The Perian logarithm, which is the L and the N on the on your calculator of the future value over the present value, equals to the log of to the n power. And this is uh, uh, there is a property on the logarithms which is actually uh, working working for us very well, which means which says that if we have the log of an n power. Of, a, of whatever power it is, we can knock it down. We can take it from here and put it here. See? To multiply instead of being to the power. So we solve for n in a very easy way. Future value, present value. Yes? 1 plus i. And there we have it. This is our second equation. So let's place it there and let's prove all this. Okay, let's write an example here. Let's say we have a present value of $1,000 and a future value of $1,500. And we uh, place this $1,000 in an investment for a period of time of 18 months. So what's the monthly, effective monthly rate 
of effective rate of this investment and it's going to be effective monthly because it is months the times that the n is equals to months so this is effective monthly okay so let's replace in here to the 18th is 18th root of the future value over the present value so 1500 over 1000 minus 1 equals a equals i and i well times 100 because we need it uh, to be 100 right but the 18th root of the future value over the uh, present value it's equals to this you know so we can use it a little bit more friendly in a calculator 1 over 18 this means the same minus 1 so i is equals to 2 comma 2 point 2 point remember this is English I'm sorry <laughs> 278 present effective monthly okay so if we need this uh, rate to be effective annually this is what we do effective annually it's equals to 1 plus 0 0.02 78 to the 12th power minus 1 times 100 and what we get is 31.0371 percent effective annually let's put it there and let's turn it into a compound monthly so you want to turn this rate into a compounded monthly I've got your back now so you have 2.278 which is the first result we have and it is effective monthly it means monthly monthly due right if we multiply this by 12 the only thing that's going to change on the letters it's going to be the first one so 12 times a month it's equals annually right annually month monthly due and we multiply this by 12 and we get 27.3360% and this is very friendly to you guys in the US right okay for our next example uh, to illustrate the second equation you know the one in red let's think about any quantity of money whatever it is a present value which is a present value whatever it is one thousand dollars one million dollars whatever and you need to find the time in which this present value turns into 3.5 times our initial investment 3.5 times our present value right to an interest rate of 12 percent compounded compounded monthly compounded monthly so how long do I have to wait? So let's see. Future value is equals to 3.5 of the present value equals to present value 1. Uh, okay, so we need to get rid of this now. We need to get rid of uh, this uh, nominal rate. So let's start by this. Let's forget about this for a moment. So this 12% compounded monthly means annually monthly due if we divide it by 12 we get one percent monthly monthly due and this is useful now because we can use it in this equation I couldn't use this in, in this equation of course there is one equation that you use a lot which has an M here but I want to show you the generic way so you won't just divide any rate of return any rate of interest by n I'll give you I'll, I'll leave you this video here so you can see what I'm what I mean by this so let's fill it up 3.5 present value equals to present value times 1 period 0 1 yes to the n to the n power and since this is multiplying 1.01 1 .01, it 
it goes to the other side to divide, so they cancel out. And what we have is 3.5 equals to 1.01 to the nth power. And as I told you, this is the equation that we're going to use. So the log or the n or the Neperian logarithm of um, 3.5, as you can see here, over the Neperian logarithm or log base, t, base 10 logarithm, it doesn't really matter, as I told you, 1.01 equals to n. This is close to um, 12, 100, 125.901639. So approximately 126 uh, months. This is it. And let's put this over there and we try to uh, and we're gonna prove this th this is right, okay? This is the correct answer. So let's say we invest one hundred dollars, right? One hundred dollars. So if this is gonna be three point five times, this, the answer is gonna be three hundred and fifty, right? The future value of this investment. One point zero one to the one hundred and twenty five 901639 let's see what we see what we get in this place what we get here if you can uh, you know corroborate this you can you can solve this in your houses what you get is 349 point point <laughs> nine 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 eight one dollars which is close to 100 close enough to one three hundred and fifty dollars okay thank you so much for watching uh, if you have any questions in the box below i'll see you next time bye bye